So I'm going to make mashed potato today using the masher. This is a great device and I'm going to run through how you do it. So I've got my boiled potatoes here. I'm using Maris Piper today and that's because they're a great all-round potato, quite floury, perfect for mashed potato. So the device that I'm using is the masher. It's quite a lovely device. Um, new technology, it's got this roticone technology that actually slowly causes the mashed potatoes to be pushed through the side bits and that will make them nice and light and fluffy. So we're going to get some creamy, smooth, lump-free, effortless mashed potato. So here I go. Here's my boiled potatoes and I'm going to add a little bit of butter and a tiny little bit of milk, a splash of milk and I'm going to get going with my mashing. Excuse the noise. show you what's going on at the moment, the mashed potato is coming through the sides and I've got the blade going round and round. So already within just a few seconds I've, I'm already starting to get some nice fluffy mashed potato. So within less than a minute, I'm just going to show you where I'm up to now, within less than a minute I've managed to get some nice fluffy light smooth, lump-free mashed potato. So if you like textures, creamy, smooth, not lumpy, this is amazing. So I'm just going to clean this off. What we normally do is skim it off the edge of the bowl and then take out the blade, which is quite an incredible blade. I can tell you about the blade. That's the blade. But I'm just going to show you the clean version of the blade. The blade is this amazing plastic Roticone technology that's powered by the gearbox inside that makes it rotate slowly. The fantastic thing about it is because it is plastic and not metal, it means that it doesn't affect the starch granules as it normally would. So you're not getting gluey mashed potato, you're getting smooth, creamy, effortless mashed potato. Just finally, to clean the actual head, just take it off just like so, run out of cold water or put it in the dishwasher. And now I'm going to move on to show you the other things that I can do with the mashed potato. So once you've made the mashed potatoes, you can add any ingredients that you want. One idea is to add some fresh pesto, which is great with fish. You could add some grain, whole grain mustard. This is great with sausages. You could add some horseradish, which is fantastic with beef. Or as one other option, you could add some grated cheese, which is nice comfy food. Now, me, I love the pesto, so I'm just going to have a try of this one. Mm. Just how I like it.